there is a new free Chrome extension out there which can help make your mid-journey life a lot easier because what it does is it essentially connects mid-journey to my designs which has a massive suite of bulk and time-saving features to help you automate a lot of the AI art processes and you can even use my designs to sell your AI art as print on demand or digital downloads. Setting up this Chrome extension is super easy. The first thing you need to do is head to this page right here, which will be linked in the description, and then just click on Add to Chrome right here and confirm to add the extension. Once that's done, you need to open up Discord on your web browser and go to your Midjourney channel. This won't work in the actual Discord app, which you might have installed on your PC. You have to make sure to do it inside of Chrome. And what you will see is this little bar right here appearing underneath all of your different Midjourney images that have been generated. And we need to link this to a My Designs account. So the next step would be creating a My Designs account for you. And you can do that totally for free. Once again, a link will be in the description to the free sign up page and then once you've created an account just click on this cog symbol right here which will tell you to enter an access token now where do you get this access token it's very easy you just click on create access token right here then you want to write a token name so i'm just going to call this midjourney chrome extension click generate token then you can copy the token by just clicking on this bar right here then head back to discord Paste the token into here with Control V and then click Link Account. Once that's done, you will see this right here saying loading. And after a few seconds, it should show the default text, which means now my designs is linked to your Midjourney account right here with this Chrome extension, which is really, really handy. So let me show you how this Chrome extension actually works and how you can utilize it to save time in your workflow. Now, first of all, you've got two sort of parts of it. The first part is this big blue bar, which helps you save your files straight into My Designs rather than having to, you know, download them all individually, upscaling, etc. You can you can save them straight to My Designs with these options right here, and I'll walk you through that in a minute. The other function of this Chrome extension is hidden down here. So first of all, you can toggle it on and off with this button. So now it's hidden. If it gets into your way, you can just toggle it off and click this button again for it to load back up. It takes a couple of seconds, but then it should reappear like this. Another cool feature down here is the product drop down. So if you click on this, you will essentially get access to all of the different products that you can sell through my designs and you will get their exact aspect ratio added to the prompt. So let's say you wanted to create designs for a tumbler, right? So you type that into the top, you see the different options that my designs offers and that you can sell through my designs. Let's say you want to create a design for a straight skinny tumbler, just click onto this. And as you can see right there, it's got the aspect ratio pre-selected. Now, if we type in forward slash imagine, as you can see, that is instantly pasted in. So we don't have to do anything. We don't have to research the aspect ratio. We can just go straight ahead and generate a file. So let's do neon dragon digital art. Hit enter and just see what that comes back with. Now that is one cool part of this is that you, you can always get the perfect aspect ratio, whether it's for mugs, for t-shirts, for tumblers, anything that you want to create designs for. That is just one part of this Chrome extension though, because the other part is this one right here to save your files. Now, the way that works is essentially in my designs, there is a folder system or a, they call it the collections system, right? We have lots of different folders that you can create to store your files online and sell them through my designs. You can do things like vectorize, remove the background in bulk, create mockups in bulk, many different things. If you wanted to save your mid journey images straight from discord into my designs, all you have to do is select the correct folder from this drop down right here. So by default, it would be the home collection, but let's say you've created a, a folder in my designs. Um, I've actually done that and called it Chrome extension for this demo. So you can type that in right here, search for it, select the folder that you want to save your files to. You could create a new subfolder as well with this button. These information buttons always tell you what the field does, by the way. So if you, if you get stuck, just hover over these information symbols. This right here lets you select whether to create a new listing or save all of these images to an existing 
listing. This would be handy for selling digital bundles, for example. But in most cases, you would probably want to create a new listing for each image that you want to sell on a product. Then you can also choose the file slot. So I actually use the default template inside of my designs and I'm using the main file slot right here to save my print files into. The rest is all for, you know, generating mockups or maybe, you know, things like removing the background, etc. So that is what you can do right here. You can also create a new file slot for the template um, if you want to give it a different name. And then you're essentially ready to save these files. You can optionally give them a file name. If you don't, it will pull the start of your prompt and use that as the file name instead. So if you, if you want to be specific, you could call this um, a, you know, dragon sunset for example, and then you would want to click this arrow down here, the blue button to upload or save it straight to my designs. And once you've configured this once in all of the next generated images that you have, it should use the same settings. So in this case, I think I still had home selected. So it's chosen home, but it's, as you can see up here, it has the same folder selected for all of these. So I can quickly go through, click these buttons and save all of these images straight into my designs. Really, really handy massive time saver. Um, you wouldn't want to do it with the grids. You know, it is obviously better to use the, the upscaled versions, but I think that showcases to you how to use this part of the bar to quickly save into my designs. And that's where we'll go now to show you some of the other tools that you can now use instantly to essentially save a lot of time with the AI art. So here we are inside of my designs. I've got the listing tab selected and I'm going to click on home to find the folder that I just saved these images into. Type in Chrome right here to find the Chrome extension folder and then click open to access that. As you can see, we've got the different mid journey graphics right here. And what you can do now is a lot of different things, but I want to showcase you some of the most sort of useful features that you can access right here very quickly. So let's select all of these listings up here in the top left corner. Then you can head over to actions and do a few different things things. So you could hit upscale to upscale the image quality. You could vectorize or remove the background to begin with. That's a super cool feature that my designs holds. And we're going to remove the background from the main file. And I think I will create a new output file slot because all of these are called mockup one, which is a bit confusing. So let's create a new file slot that's called um, no background. Click OK right here to confirm that. Now we've got a new file slot selected. We can remove the background and for all of these in one go. And you can do that in my designs with the paid plans for up to 120 images at the same time. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds and it's already done it. And the results are amazing. This one is not perfect, I would say, because it was on a black background that tends to give worse results. But all of these other ones in which were created on a white background actually look really decent. So from this step, we can now go a step further, head back to actions, click on vectorize image. Let's change the input file slot to no background because we might as well vectorize the file that already has the background removed, right? And then let's create a new file slot and call it SVG because that is what we're creating. We're creating SVG files with the bulk vectorizer inside of my designs. Let's uh, click this check mark to create that new slot. And then we can hit vectorize. Once again, the job will be added to the queue and usually processed in just a few seconds. And then we'll have these in super high quality without the background. There we go, that's all done. And now if you wanted to use this SVG and resize it to a specific size, let's say if you want to sell these on t-shirts, you could move into the canvas system next, which you can access up here. Make sure you've got all of your list listings select it still click on canvas and it has actually got the default size right here for t-shirts so 4500 by 5400 pixels that's ideal for us and if we change the input file slot from main file to svg we can now move this around align it to the top of the canvas area and hit sync because then for all of these listings, we've now got the right alignment and we will save these as a, you know, ideal print file for t-shirts essentially. How you can do that is let's create a new file slot again. We could call it t-shirt print file. Click this button to confirm that create the new file slot. By the way, you do have templates right here for the other products as well. So if you wanted to create sticker sheets, you know, mug print files, anything else, you can find it right here as a template that will change the dimensions of your canvas system that you can in bulk change 
the overall dimensions of your AI art at a high quality because we're using an SVG file, a scalable vector file right here to create these PNG files with the right dimensions. Once you've selected everything right here, all you have to do is hit apply. It's hidden behind the sort of help section down here in the bottom right corner. So click this and now again, it's added that job to the queue and you can do this for, you know, 24, 48, or up to 120 listings at the same time using the Canvas system to essentially resize your files and give them the right dimensions. By the way, a quick tip as well, if you ever wanted to download any of the files that you've created, you can also do that by heading to Actions, download a zip, and then essentially just selecting the files that you want to download. So if you wanted the SVG, if you wanted the t-shirt print file, you can download them as a zip, but you can also stay within my designs. You can create image mockups, video mockups. You can switch back to the listing view. You can create your titles, descriptions, and tags in bulk. And then once you have mockups created as well, you can go ahead and publish these as physical print or demand products or digital download products to Etsy or Shopify. And and the cool thing is everything is automated. Everything is in bulk. So you're going to save a ton of time. I've made multiple tutorials about my designs showing you how to sell print on demand products or how to sell digital downloads. So those are worth checking out for the entire process. But I think this gives you a good overview of how to use the Chrome extension so you can go from mid journey straight to my designs, save a lot of time and also use the right aspect ratio for your prompts. If you want to learn how my designs can save you tons of time, as well as increase your print on demand or digital download sales, then make sure to check out this video next, which is my complete overview of the my design suite, a showcase of the different features and tools, as well as a breakdown of their pricing plans and how they work.